water Wohink Lake. Uh, we got this 2008 Carolina Skiff. It's got the Yamaha 75 horsepower. Nice day. Well, it's getting nice, but we'll take this thing for a spin. We'll start it up here first. Starts right up. Easy there. All right, we'll go over the helm station here real quick. Uh, first off, it does have a Garmin Echo Map DV fish finder. So this gives us all the fish fish and chart plotters, um, depth, miles per hour, uh, voltage, and stuff like that. Uh, right here, we got our miles per hour gauge, volt gauge, that's working, shows the battery charging. RPM gauge is working. Fuel gauge is not currently working. Um, you can see the fuel tank right there, so you'll you'll know how much fuel you have left. Um, so that's not a big deal. Uh, you've got your Yamaha controls right here. Trim works. Navigation lights. Bilge pump works. You can hear it kick on a little bit, and it also has an auto bilge right there, so you can have it in auto mode or normal. Aerator. You can hear that firing off in the middle here. So you can see that. That's working. Accessory doesn't have anything to it. And then <coughs> horn works. And yeah, it, it works. Um, all right. Let's give her a spin here. All right, she's in drive now. It's a pretty heavy boat being fiberglass, solid built. The 75 seems to shoot it right up. Just about going on to plane. RPM gauge says 4,000 right there. Says we're going 12 miles an hour. Push it a little more. Setting on the plane here. 5,000 RPMs right there. 25 miles an hour. Looks like the mile per hour gauge does not work but you got it on your screen here. So it's 26, now full throttle. Thirty-two miles an hour. Trim it up a little bit. It's 33. back it down. Go through a little wake right here. Solid. All right, so about 33 miles an hour. She probably could get a little bit more, um, but this is just with two people and uh, basic gear. Uh, miles per hour gauge does not work. RPM gauge only goes up to 6,000 RPMs. Uh, motor was not over revving, so it's probably right around where it's supposed to be prop wise. Um, let's see, reverse. Works good. All right, do some maneuver testing. Safety steering, easy to control. At high speeds, it was it was easy to control as well. Do a right hand turn. And then 
correct it. You can do it one-handed. Gonna go through our wake here. Left hand. Now some bigger wake. Feels nice and controlled. Hit some speed into it. All right, everything seems to be doing good. Um, nice, easy to control boat. Uh, and nothing nothing weird on that side. So show you on the water stability. Uh, if you walk to the side, barely lists. We'll both go to this side. Like not really anything. So give her a couple shakes. Yeah, it's solid. It feels like you're walking on concrete in here too. Very solid, nice big walk around. So all that seems good. It's got nine person capacity, uh, but everything on the water seems to be doing all right. And uh, we'll go up on land now. All right, we're on the, came back to the shop here. We're gonna do a walk around and condition overview of this boat. Uh, 2008 Carolina Skiff 178 DLV is the model. And we'll start up here in the front. It's a two inch ball. A four flat plug, and you only have one safety chain. So you could add in another safety chain easy enough. It does have a, a swing away tongue um, right there. Bower and winch setup right here on the stanchion. Uh, big tire Fulton Jack is a galvanized trail right trailer with the open channels, which is nice. All right, condition through. Bottom looks good. A little bit of scratches right here, um, but nothing deep at all. Um, so all this looks good right here. It's got a nice overhang right here to keep the splash down. And then over along the edge, a couple marks that could be buffed out. Um, here's some little gashes into the gel coat, so you could touch this up right there. Overall, I mean, it is an older boat, so you're going to overall condition wise, you'll see that, but point out more of the bigger stuff. Um, tires on it are like brand new. A couple more scratches right there. But everything looks pretty good. Some cleats on it. There's three plugs on this boat one right there, one down in the middle, and then there's one on this other side, same as that. Got your transducer right here for the Garmin. Uh, 75 horsepower, four stroke motor. Uh, it's fuel injected. Ran gray, everything. It does have a boarding ladder as well. Um, so that's nice because if you ever fall out, you gotta be able to get back in. So there's the other plug hole. This side looks like this is where it was docked more because um, there's some of those scrapes along right there, as you can see. Trailer tire on this as well. Uh, same as the other side, for like brand new. And then just more marks like this. These could probably be buffed out, but we want to point out everything. And then, yeah, you can see the chines on it. Make this boat, it rode really well in the water. It was easy, controllable and everything, and really stable. Uh, that looks about it. So let's climb up inside now. With the handy dandy ladder. Right when you get in this boat, you'll just feel how solid it is. So we'll start out here in the back. I did notice, put the motor down to show you. There's some scratches right here. 
and then there is a hole in the cowling right there probably from something sitting right here and putting the motor up so I just wanted to point that out does have a bimini top right here you got like a bait box style in the middle is your live well which we showed working and then right here this one is access to your battery and then more storage got two little steps right here so it's easy in and out also can flip this backwards so you could fish off the back or something like that um, let's see if you can if we can open this up this is a cooler so it's removable which makes it kind of it does move like that um, underway so if you were hitting big bumps going like that you might move you could tighten it down more these straps don't really do well but you could tighten it cinch it down but it's nice to have a removable cooler which is also your seat helm station uh, you got your garmin unit there little windshield which actually blocks a lot, a lot of wind so it was nice to be behind this grab whales easy control steering as you saw gas tanks in here and then everything else you kind of saw in the previous uh, but it's nice big walk around there is a uh, uh, fishing rod holders on both sides and then there's some ones right here that are mounted there is uh, a couple cushions that go right here so you can put these cushions down and have an extra seat this just flips up and there's nothing underneath it but there's a seat right there nine person capacity in here up here you just got some storage along the whole bottom so that's just storage underneath those uh, it does come with a crab davit as well um, so make a great crabbing boat nice big deck up here a lot of room uh, easy to fish off this uh, there's a nice state it's a nice stable boat um, everything on it's solid no big cracks or anything like that the motor ran great uh, pushed the boat 33 miles an hour so they make a nice little durable boat they're pretty good in uh, rough waters but come check it out here at Breen Marine Florence Oregon and uh, we'll make you a deal.